In this movie we're going to take a look at how we manage configurations from SOLIDWORKS in DDM. So configurations are ideal for, for standard items that are unlikely to change. Things like fasteners, washers. In this case we're taking a look at a spacing collar. So I have my basic geometry created and I've not yet stored this to DDM. If we go to our configurations area what we're going to do is to add a new configuration and I'm going to give this a name which is my 6mm spacing collar. I'm going to copy that to the, to the description as well and what I want to see is actually the configuration name within my SOLIDWORKS tree. So that's my first one created. We'll accept that and we're going to add one more. And this is going to be M4 by 10. Configuration name. Okay, and we'll save that. And we need to edit this to make this one 10 millimeters. So we're going to edit the feature and this is for this configuration alone and we'll change this to 10 millimeters. Okay, now we're, we're ready to save these items back to DDM. What we must do is select the default configuration and then we've got the other configurations available to be saved. What's important in a PDM system is that we don't use the default configuration within our assemblies. So you'll see that I've created my first configuration, the same geometry as the default configuration. So from the PDM integrator menu, I'm going to say save all configurations and this will allow me to, to save the items back to DDM. So this is my default configuration, the first item that's saved. So I'm going to allocate a number and this is it's my M4 by variable length spacing collar and this is the default default configuration. And now we'll work through the other two collars. So you'll see the reason that I put the description in here is that I can now copy this down into this area and now create my new number. And now my final configuration And here I have confirmation that my configurations have been saved. So if we close this and if we return to DDM, under my recent items we can see our two configurations and the default configuration. If we look at the properties of the default configuration and look under links, then we can see the instances or the configurations based on this default configuration. In a similar way, if we look at one of the instances and look at the links, we can see the relationship back to the default configuration. If we want to load our 10 millimeter spacing collar, we can load it directly and our 10 millimeter spacing collar is open in session. If we want to add to our configurations, then we can return to DDM, load the default configuration and again within our configurations tab we can just add a new configuration. This time it's going to be um, 20 millimeters. And let's just change the geometry.
And now with this specific configuration open in session from the PDM integrator menu, we're just going to select to save the current configuration. Give it a number. And our configuration is saved. So if we close this, we return to DDM. You can now see that we have three configurations based on this default configuration. Just to confirm this from the properties and links, we can see our three instances. So this concludes this overview movie on managing part configurations from SOLIDWORKS in DDM.